Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Future Studio to do a quick video to share with you how to use the film burn transition pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so once you've both and downloaded the pack on our website, you should get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you will get a couple of things. You'll have the license, the installation instruction, and the DRFX file. Just double click on the DRFX file to start the installation process. Here, just click install. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then here, Video Transition, Video to Studio, and then here you can just scroll down to Film Burn Transition. In this pack, you have 21 transition available. 20 of them here are just uh, pre-made and kind of fixed, and this one is the Master Film Burn Transition, which allow you a lot more flexibility, but is also a lot heavier to play back. In this video, I'm mostly gonna focus on the Master Film Burn Transition, as I've already covered the usage of all the other one in the sample video that I will link in the description below if you haven't seen that. So let's get started. I'm gonna need to bring two clip in my timeline first. So here, I'm just gonna drag a first clip zoom out a little bit and then we're gonna add a second clip here i'm just gonna remove the sound because i don't need it and now we can proceed to drag the transition but here as you can see it doesn't work it's because we need to trim the edges of our clip to give enough space for the transition to happen so here i'm just gonna trim that down and i'm gonna trim that clip down and we then gonna drag the transition over and as you can see now it's working however right now you can see that it's a lot heavier compared to the other one we have. I'm just playing back at 4 FPS. I'm gonna show you in a second how to process that quicker, but here that's why we've made basically two type of transition, those one being a lot faster to play. As you can see, we're playing directly here at 30 FPS without any issue. The advantage of those 20 transition, as mentioned, is that they are playing fast and they are also fixed. So you don't have really to worry too much about the design, about how many time the film burn is appearing. You just have to adjust the color if you want to just fine tune that to the color of your clip or you can do a small adjustment to the glow but it's fairly simple very quick to use which is great if you want to have the fastest workflow but if you need a bit more fine tuning we've created that master film burn transition that is not available on the other 20 transition so here i'm just gonna extend my inspector and we're gonna go through that together first off how to get a better playback right here as you can see when I'm playing it back, it doesn't play properly at 30 FPS because it hasn't processed the transition. And as I mentioned, there is a lot more functionality that goes into it, therefore it's heavier to play. The first thing I will recommend doing is going over to playback and change here, run the cache from none to smart. It will just display here a red bar. And when that red bar become blue, that means that the effect has been processed and it will play back at full speed. So you just need to play it one time and then now we can play it again and it will just play at 30 fps so that's the main trick to have real-time playback another thing i like to have activated is right here show all video frame that will basically play frame by frame until uh, that bar is completely blue and you can play it at full speed so that's just the best way for me to just see that it's processing properly and that it's not jumping frame. Now let's jump into the customization of that transition. As you can see, when we move frame by frame to our image, we have different shapes. So that will be, for example, the shape one, then that will be the shape two, this, the shape three, so on and so forth, okay? And those shapes are represented here in the inspector. You have six shape in total. So right now, for example, we are on shape six, which is the last one and we can just toggle between different kind of shape. Okay, we can have shape one, shape two, shape three, shape four, shape five, shape six, shape seven, shape eight, and shape nine. Also, as you may have noticed, right now, if I switch to shape one on the sixth position, it's the same one as here, uh, the shape one in style one, obviously, because it's reflecting here the exact same transition. So that way you can easily toggle between the kind of shape that you like in the position that you like. Another thing, you can flip those positions. So right here, you can flip it horizontally or you can flip it vertically. Then you have control over the shape opacity. So here, same thing, we have shape one to six, which is the same thing as here, one to six. So you can then adjust the opacity of those one. Here, I believe we into shape five. So we can just here decrease that. And as you can see, now we have 
a shape that is transparent. So you can individually adjust the opacity of each of those shape right here under shape opacity. Then the next drop down is shape customization. In shape customization, you can further customize here the shape from one to nine. So for example, here, if we were to go to frame one with shape one, we can adjust here the shape one rectangle by adjusting the soft edges of that rectangle, adjusting the border width, the overall position, the width, the height, the corner radius, and the angle. So you really have full customization over each one of the shape. And here, for example, if we were to go to shape number six, now if we make the switch to the style number one, as you can see, it will just be carried over to whichever you select. So right now we've done it for the first style. And as you can see, you can do exactly the same thing here for the second, for the third, so on and so forth. Now the next drop down is film damage. Now, as you can see the master film burn compared to all the other ones that are just transparent, the master got some film damage, which is some grain and scratches and stuff like that. You can adjust that over here. So if you don't want it at all, you can just untick this and that will just remove the film damage completely. Then if you want it, you can just click that and adjust the film blur. Uh, you can adjust the scratches, the temperature and all that stuff. For example, here, if you just want to have the dirt and not film scratch and line and stuff like that, you can just remove the film scratch and the enable. And then here you will only have the change dirt. And then same thing for the opposite. You can just remove the dirt here. For example, if the dirt is too present for you, you can always decrease the density and it will be a lot subtle right there. You can also adjust the size of the dirt. You can adjust the blur of the dirt. So I'll let you fine tune this to your liking. At any time, if you want to reset things to default, you can just double click on any parameter and it will reset the value to the default value. And then the last two drop down are the same as all the other effects, which are the color and the glow. So here, if you want to match the clip that you have, for example, right now, the orange maybe is a bit intense compared to the clip that we have. We can just select color select the picker and then here just select the color that is most representative of what we want to have. So here we're just going to go more towards something that is yellow white. And here we go, that's been applied to our transition. So then here in the glow, you can adjust the threshold, the gain, the glow size and the blend. The threshold and the gain will basically adjust the intensity. If you reduce them, as you can see, it will be less intense. And then if you increase it, that's going to be more saturated and more vibrant, a lot more like it has been burned compared to if you were to decrease that. Then the glow size right here, we just extend the glow. So if we increase this, as you can see, we have more of a soft edge. And if we decrease that, we have more of a straight solid line. And then we can adjust the blend, which is the overall intensity and transparency of the effect. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. Again, if you want to give it a shot and try it out, we have the Umber Slice one right here as a free sample that you can download. I will put a link in the description below. It's this transition right here, and you can adjust here the color and the glow as I've mentioned. There is a full video on how to use the sample in the description below, so I'll let you check that out as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.